here with head coach Jeff Tesh. You know, not the easiest game against Minnesota State Moorhead, but you guys come out in the second half and get some things done, finally rolling on offense and come out of the game with a victory. Yeah, they, uh, I'll get more at State. They had a plan uh, defensively. They were going to stop her off tackle power play. And they did a nice job. And uh, they were going to throw and throw and throw. And we weren't able to get as much heat on them as we wanted in the first half. And we had all sorts of penalties on defense and guys open. You know, some mistakes coverage-wise in that. And then uh, instead of panicking, we I think it was really something good that happened on our offense. We uh, instead of just pound, 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 we went to spreading out some formations, using some of our wideouts to run, some play action, and something we really felt we could do. We just haven't needed to do it yet. So I was actually glad there's a little adversity, and we got to show some things that we thought were there with the offense. And then at halftime, we just said, let's get after them defense. And uh, they did, and that quarterback wasn't able to set his feet real good uh, after the second half. So, you know, nothing wrong with facing some adversity and coming back and playing better. And a lot of credit to Moorhead that they, they came out ready to play today. Here with Lance Rongstad, you know, a tough go in the first half, but you guys come out in the second half, and, you know, you're able to do some stuff offensively and get a victory against Minnesota State Moorhead. Just talk about the game. Uh, the first half, Moorhead came out with uh, much more intensity. They played harder. They played better than we did. And we were very flat. We didn't execute well. And it uh, put us in a hole down halftime. But at uh, halftime, we made our adjustments. Uh, we came back. We played with a lot of fire. We threw the ball around a little bit more. And uh, our skill players made, made plays. And our whole line played great. And we ended up with a W. Just talk about what you were able to do today. Three touchdowns in the air, one on the ground. I believe you set your career high for passing yards. Just, you know, what was it in the air today in terms of throwing the ball? Uh, Moorhead kind of forced us to throw the ball. I mean, we didn't have a whole lot of success in the first half running the ball, and uh, so coming out of halftime, we wanted to take advantage of some of the looks they were giving us on defense and throw it to the holes that they were giving us, and coach called some great plays, and uh, receivers made great catches, and uh, O-line gave, gave me plenty of time to make those throws. This is one of the first games you've really faced a lot of adversity, and you know, you guys come through. Just what do you guys have to do moving forward to you know, keep this rolling and remain ranked and possibly get to the playoffs? Uh, we just got to learn from it. I mean, you can't come out flat in the first half of a football game and expect to, to win. Uh, we were fortunate enough today that we were able to come back in the second half and play 10 times better than we had in the first half. But this is really a lesson to show us that, that if we're going to come and play football, we've got to come and play from the kickoff to the end of the whistle. We're here with Dan Christensen for Bemidji State Football. You have five tackles out there today. It was kind of a you know a rough start for both sides of the ball, but you know able to get a win against rival Minnesota State Moorhead. Just talk about the game. Well, you said that thing about the hard start. Is I I especially had one. I had a pretty bad first half, but I know, we made just the second half and kept going. Got the axe. <laughs> Thanks. And uh, yeah, it was, it was fun. I know it's always good to get the axe back. And, you know, hope just look up for, look up till next week. So.